What's up everyone? So what a year we've had so far. In fact, what started as a tough year now seems to have been long forgotten. I mean look at the S&P 500, punching and reaching new year to date highs, being up by over 23%, which is very impressive. And I don't think it stops there, as if you believe in this article here from HSBC, then 2024 promises to be a good year too, where using the S&P 500 as the benchmark, they see it reaching the 5000 mark, which represents a nearly 8% advance from current levels as a forecast a soft landing scenario that could pave the way for further upside. And so they believe that market expectations are more optimistic heading into 2024, so some exciting news to absorb some caution, right? So in this video, I'll share with you two of our favorite gems, which are deeply on the valley right now and they have begun their own momentum run already and 2024 promises to be even better for them given where they are right now. So whatever you're doing, make sure you pause and pay attention right through to the end to understand and get the latest on two of our favorite gems on the channel, which could turbocharge your portfolio. But remember that this video is not financial advice, but only sharing with you insights for you to decide whether they deserve a place on your watch list or not. And I also have more insights to share with you from our friends at the Wealth Research Group who have done it again and are sharing their thoughts on what promises to be an epic 2024 bull market through this free report. Wow, there couldn't be possibly a better time to start reading reports like this as it helps guide you on what areas you may want to consider as you enter into 2024. They say in the report that after 12 brutal years of gold mining stocks, the management of the leading companies have improved dramatically. So today, with starkly different financial and monetary conditions to the past 10 years, it looks like the stage is being set for mining companies in the foreseeable future. And they believe that the window which is now open to us won't last for more than a year, or maybe 18 months, but you will need to play your cards right. So some really cool stuff in there which you wouldn't want to pass on and you get that for completely free by grabbing your copy from the link below. So please check out this free report from the link below. And also after a tremendous success from our Black Friday sale, we are thrilled to announce the launch of a new US sale which extends up to the 5th of January from Seeking Alpha. The offer once again is a 7 day free trial period and a 30% discount for your first year of premium subscription. So in essence, you get a full year of subscription for $167 which is like the cost of 2 or 3 Starbucks coffees a month. And you are armed with incredible information to manage your portfolio which is just a no brainer there. So a big shout out to all those who have already signed up and are putting their insights to beneficial use as we head towards the end of the year. And for those who haven't signed up yet, you still have a chance to do so by the 5th of January. As Seeking Alpha are doing all they can to help investors who want to get ahead with their investing. And on their platform, you will get a one stop shop market analysis platform to track and manage your portfolio and get the latest data tips and predictions all at your fingertips. So whether you're looking for the latest market news or trending analysis or want to get the latest on top rated growth of value stocks, they've got it right there for you, already analyzed and ranked so as to make your decision making much easier. And you even have stocks and ETF screeners so you can narrow down and create your own short list of winners with strong long term growth potential. So make sure you grab this limited time 30% deal which runs out on the 5th of January. And please check them out from my link below and in the top pinned comment and get your investing ready for the bull run in 2024. Thank you very much and with that out of the way, please drop a quick like on the video and hit the bell so we can get talking about lithium which has had a torrid year so far averaging about $37,000 per ton which is more than 50% down from where they started the year. And some of the reasons for this slump in lithium price is as a result of consumers pushing back on electric vehicles. So between higher costs and range anxiety, buyers remain concerned about buying EVs that are on Tesla. And so this lower demand has pressured lithium demand which has caused the prices to slump. Though lithium supply hasn't surged and the long term demand doesn't appear to have altered. And so one of the big lithium players, Abimali, has already suggested reducing some of their operations which is contributing to drive the prices higher again. But it's worth remembering that the EV market is forecast to surge by 3x for the rest of the decade with lithium demand possibly exceeding EV production. And right now, China is already producing close to 9.5 million EVs annually 
with a goal of hitting 11.5 million in 2024. So what is really good is that a lot of the range anxiety issues in the US should be resolved over time considering China has already solved the problems. But despite this laggard performance, there is also still plenty of optimism as we recently saw lithium producers pushing higher as US rules were seen as unlikely to strain supply chains. And that's on the back of the US government's new rules aimed at limiting China's grip on the electric vehicle industry by being less stringent than feared. And what this really means is that, whilst the US wants to own their supply chain and get rid of China, they also realize that they cannot proceed with the EV transition if they are not flexible in terms of including the Chinese. So more to come in this space with US policy as we enter 2024, but here's what that means to some of our favorite gems, starting with Live on Corp, ticker number LTHM, currently sitting at $17.30 per share with a market cap of $3 billion. Liven is down 8% on a year-to-date perspective and we can see their bounce from $13 per share earlier this year. And going by the broader sector trends, it is widely anticipated that we may have seen the bottom of the lithium price slump, meaning it can only get more exciting in 2024. And I absolutely love this headline from Seeking Alpha, which states that Liven is a wonderful company which is fairly valued. And they said Liven Corporation is a lithium product company that trades below its IPO price and has exposure to the promising lithium industry. And the company's financial performance has been impacted in recent quarters by cyclicality, but they continue to improve their strategic position in, in the industry. And also Liven's merger with Alchem is expected to bring synergies and diversification of assets, making it one of the world's largest lithium companies. And so they believe that right now, the stock is attractively valued. And next up is Lithium America's Corp, ticker number LAC, LAC, which is now sitting at $6.73 per share with a market cap of $981 million. And so similar to Livend, Lithium America's is bouncing from its year to the lows of $5.83 which it hit earlier in December. And given what this gem has in the tank for the North American supply chain, there is plenty of reason to be optimistic. So as we always aim to buy low and sell high, some patience will be required with this stock for any pullbacks to present some decent entry points for those who believe in their story to maximize the upside opportunity from this mega lithium stock. So here's the latest insights on Lithium Americas, which you need to be aware of from Seeking Alpha, where the analysts say that with Lithium Americas, now is the time to buy the slump. They say Lithium Americas Corp is a promising lithium play with a large domestic mining construction and financing close to being fully secured. And the recent slowdown in demand for EVs has caused lithium prices to slump, but the long-term demand remains really strong. And the stock is cheap based on the strong fundamentals of the Thacker Pass mine, though one must expect lithium prices to rally again. So Lithium Americas will always trade wildly based on current lithium prices, but investors should use the weakness as a buying opportunity, as a long-term push into EVs doesn't appear altered from some short-term deferral. And so in essence, Investors should use the weakness to build up a position on Lithium America stock, which is trading far beyond the present value. So clearly want to watch and not lose track. So some very, very interesting insights worth considering with these Lithium Germs, but only consider getting in if you it right for you and if you fully understand. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting Lithium stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I love you. Let me know your thoughts on this topic in the sections below and what other lithium stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe to my videos. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here for really insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.